In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the three different size videos you can export for Instagram and how to do that in Premiere Pro. So Instagram has three different sizes. You can post a horizontal video, a square video, um, or a story video. So the first thing we want to do in Premiere Pro is we want to set up our project for these specific sequences and file sizes. Okay, so we're going to come up click on new and click sequence and we're going to title this one horizontal video. So whether your video is in 4K or HD, you can come up to settings here. And if you have a 4K video, you can go ahead and set the frame rate to 3840 by 2160. You can click on custom for your editing mode and the time base can be at 24 frames per second or whatever your video is at. And you want to make sure to set the pixel aspect ratio to 1 before clicking OK. All right. This is going to be the sequence for horizontal videos going on TikTok. We can come up again and we can press File, New, Sequence. All right. And what we want to do now is we want to click a uh, new sequence for vertical videos. All right. And we're going to come to our sequence settings and we want to change one thing. We want to change the frame rate. So the frame rate, we want to select 1080 by 1920. OK, we're going to go ahead and press OK. And now you see we have a sequence with vertical um, with a vertical video that we can use. So we have two sequences now, the horizontal and the vertical. And we're going to come up and create our final sequence. We're going to come up to new create sequence and we're going to do square video. All right. So Instagram does um, allow you to post square videos. It's how they post their photos as well on the um, each person's page. If you look at them, they're square. There's actually a cool video from Lex Friedman on why that is. He interviewed um, the designer that came up with that. So check that out if you have spare sec. And we're going to be changing the frame rate to 1080 and 1080 in this case and pressing OK. And now we have a beautiful square. Now, I showed you that we would cover the three videos that you can post on TikTok. I'm going to give you a little extra credit bonus right here. And we're going to create a new sequence and we're going to title it um, extra bonus. All right. Why not? And we're going to come up to settings and we're going to be putting the frame size to 1080 by 1350. Now Instagram, although the previews are always a square currently, they're 1080 by 1080 when I'm filming this video, you can post videos that are 1080 by 1350. And what that is, is it's slightly more vertical than a square, but it takes up a larger percentage of the screen when shared and distributed through Instagram, which has been shown to increase view duration and engagement on the video. Okay, so that's our extra bonus. You can see the difference. There's the square. There's the um, slightly vertical square or rectangle, I should say. And these are our different um, video formats. Okay, so now whatever footage you're editing or you're importing or you're copy and pasting into these different timelines, what you're going to want to do is actually go in to the effects control panel. Let me show you very briefly. I'll drag in a video here. Okay. I have this nice um, clip of this uh, fire construction zone, you know, stock footage that I'm going to be showing you guys a sample with. And I can take my clip and I can bring it in. I'm going to press keep existing settings. Okay. And I'm going to drag and drop it into all of my sequences just so you guys can get a um, feel for the difference that Instagram allows you to do. All right. So let's say we're wanting to post the horizontal video. Well, it's very small because it's because the quality is poor. I'm going to right click and press scale to frame size. Okay. So now you guys can see I have my horizontal video. And that is one type of post that I can post on to Instagram. Now you guys can see here that we have the vertical video. I'm going to press scale to frame size and I can either get creative and add text up here. For example, you'll see sometimes there's subtitles 
or I can come up to the effects control panel and I can scale my footage, you know, up to take up the full section of the screen. I can move it over at certain times and I can, you know, chop it into separate clips, for example, to resize every single individual aspect of this, this clip. And then I can export that separately. If we take a look at our square video, we can do the same thing. I'm going to be pressing scale to frame size and I can just bump up you know, this to the scale to 180, for example, just so that it fits within the sequence. And you guys can see now we have our square video preview there. If we take a look at this extra bonus size of 1080 by 1350, we can do the exact same thing. I'm clicking on the clip coming up to the effects control panel. And now I can scale this all the way up. And again, this size of slightly vertical is going to be taking up more space than the traditional square on Instagram and you guys can use and export that video clip. So to get down to the um, nitty gritty of exporting, what you want to do is whatever clips you're exporting, whatever sequences you're exporting them for, you're going to come to the very first frame and press I. That's going to give you your input that's saying, hey, Premiere, start here when you export. And then we're going to come to the end, somewhere near the end, and press O. That's going to say, hey, Premiere, this is where we want to stop the video. And we're going to make sure that we drag that now to the very last frame. You can zoom up if you would like to, um, to the very last frame, and just make sure, yep, you guys can see that it's selected the last frame. All right, and this is our 1080 by 1350 sequence. So if we come up to file, if we click on export and we click media here or control M, you will see that it's automatically taken your file size from the sequence 1080 by 1350. And all you have to do is, you know, give it a select a match source high bit rate. Um, we can get more complicated with the export settings uh, another time, but for the sake of posting on Instagram, really selecting match source high bit rate and having your format set at H.264 is going to give you the type of video that you need. You can scroll down on the video settings and change the target bit rate if you're selected on video here. The current size of the video is 9 megabytes. We can bump the bit rate, which will bump the quality and will bump the size. So play with the bit rate. You can also click on the output name here, give your video a title, and you'll be able to save it to a specific spot that you want to on your computer. And then all you're going to be doing is pressing export. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically start exporting your video. This is a small short video, so it's only going to take a quick second and then it will bring you right back to your timeline and you can export the next video. So we're going to go ahead and come to the square. We're going to go ahead and select the input and output of the video, come up to file and click on export and the same settings are going to apply. It's automatically exporting the video with the current sequence settings that we already previously set up. So that's why it's important to do that first. That's why I wanted to cover that first in this tutorial. Same exact thing here, H.264, match source high bit rate. You can rename and resave your video to wherever you would like. And you can scroll down and play with the bit rate if you would like to here, like that, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and press export. Once it's done exporting, it's going to take you back to your timeline and then you can do the same thing for your vertical video. Okay, you can come up, press file, press export media and check it out. You have your vertical sequence that's already ready to go. Same settings apply. You can change the title. Make sure it's H.264. You're clicking here on use maximum render quality and you can change the bit rate. All right, and then the same thing goes for the last version that you can uh, post to Instagram. You can come up, you can press file, you can press export after you've selected your input and output, highlighting the video duration that you would like to export. And then the same exact thing applies. All right, you guys, so that is the four, the actual four uh, different sizes that Instagram allows you to post 
video content on their platform with. You've got your horizontal video that's going to be 4K or HD, 3840 by 2160 or 1920 by 1080. You've got your vertical video, 1080 by 1920. You've got your square video, 1080 by 1080. And the bonus, um, slightly vertical square that optimizes best for Instagram feed is going to be 1080 by 1350.